everybody. I miss you all. I miss seeing everybody in the mornings. Um, I just wanted to say how proud I am of each of you. Um, you guys made it. Uh, and uh, thank you for being such great students. Um, thanks for all your hard work this year, and I hope you guys all have a fantastic summer. Hi, CHA Academy from North Carolina. I have missed all of you since uh, the lockdown has prevented me from traveling back to Minnesota about every six weeks as planned. So I've been not been able to see you or talk to you, but I look forward to hearing your stories. You have survived a, a worldwide historic event and you will be able to tell about it and tell your experiences in your history, world history classes in the future. So I can't wait to hear your glad stories, your sad stories, and maybe even a few bad stories about your experience. In the end, I am praying that all of us will see God's story and his plan unfolding through all of this. Have a wonderful summer. We look forward to having you back at school next year. Uh, see you later. Love to all of you. Hello, CHA friends. Um, just wanted to come to you and share just one quick verse with you and then wish you all well for the summer. And I'm reading out of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. And it just says, Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. And I just want you to know that God cares about you and your family during this time. Um, even though we can't be together, we are together in our spirits and, you know, we've just wanted to create community with all of you while we've been apart. Um, and I feel like CHA has done a really great job at doing that. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you um, before you hop into summer and just know that God is with you and CHA is with you, all your teachers and all of us in the office, we care about you and we just want you to be happy and have an awesome summer. Um, get outside, play with friends if you can. I know it's tough, um, but if you can maybe go on a bike ride with a friend, um, do some sidewalk chalk, call your grandparents, um, enjoy the time that you have with your family and enjoy your summer. I hope that we can see each other soon. Um, I can't wait to see you all in the fall and um, enjoy your summer. Take care. Goodbye from Mrs. Haugen. Hi CHA students, how are you? We miss you. I don't know how many of you know that I have uh, co-wrote Boys and Girls Bible Studies um, for elementary and middle school age kids. So I wanted to share a part of a chapter on change from one of our books called Relationships. God never changes. He always is the same, always, forever. You can count on it. No matter how many things in your life are changing, he is always the same. I am the Lord, I do not change, Malachi 3, 6. God will never, ever change. He is exactly the same today as he has always been. That, that can be hard for us to understand because everything around us changes. But the truth is, God will remain exactly the same, no matter what. Hebrews 13, 8 says that Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. He will never, ever change. We can lean on God to help us with whatever changes we are going through. Imagine that you're back in a, in a bouncy house with everything moving and shaking when suddenly you see a handle along the edge of the wall. You grab onto it. And suddenly, even though everything around you is moving, you're able to keep your balance because you're holding on to the handle. When you're going through changes in life and you feel like everything is topsy-turvy, God will be like that handle that you can grab onto so you can stay steady. How do you get through changes in your life? I have three things for you. One, remember that change is hard. It's always gonna be hard. And two, remember that God is with you. And three, you wanna look ahead. But you know what? God has great things ahead of you. You might not be able to see it right now. You might not be able to figure out how it's going to all work out. You might not even feel like it, but God has great things for you. First Peter 1 6 says, so be truly glad. There's wonderful joy ahead, even though you have to endure many trials for a little while. Things might be hard for a little while when you are dealing with change, but there is a wonderful joy ahead of you. The best way to get through change is to keep your eyes on what's ahead. So students of CHA, I am looking forward to seeing you next fall. I hope you have a super summer. You did it. You made it. 
you finished this year. And that's awesome. In my Step Up class, we have a song that we sing at the end of every single day. And I want to share it with you. Because I miss you. You ready? So long, farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now until we meet again. It's been great to play and sing together. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. And I believe that soon, my friends, we will see each other again. Have a wonderful summer and have a great time celebrating you and your family and the Lord. See you all in the fall. Bye. Woohoo, CHJ students, you guys have completed um, this wild school year. Uh, so proud of all of you and just wanna wish you off to a wonderful summer. Um, I wanna leave you with this verse from Romans 12, 12. It is, rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, and be constant in prayer. Love and miss you all. Hi CHA, I hope you all have a great summer and we'll see you in the fall. Hi CHA, I'm so proud of all of you for persevering through such a trying time of e-learning. Um, I would like to leave you with a Bible verse before you jump into your summers. Joshua 1.9 says this, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So in the midst of all of these uncertain times, God encourages us to be strong and courageous. And he encourages us to not live in fear. And with his help, we are able to do just that. Um, I miss you all. And I pray that you all have a wonderful summer and that you're able to enjoy the sunshine and get outside to play with your family. And hopefully you're able to find ways to interact with your friends as well. Have a good summer. Congrats students. You made it through another school year. How did that happen so fast? This year has definitely been unique, but I am so proud of you for working hard and having a positive attitude through it all. It will definitely be a year that we will never forget. I wish we could celebrate the last day of school together, but I hope you enjoy our last community day and have a super fun summer. Soak in all the sunshine and keep spreading that light of Jesus to everyone you meet. Love you all and we'll see you soon. Hello CHA, it is Mrs. Iberg. It is nice to see you. I just wanted to say um, thank you for all the love, support and prayers during my battle with cancer. Here's a little update. Um, I have chemo every week now, every Wednesday, and my hope is that I'll be done at the beginning of July and then have surgery at the beginning of August. So my hope and prayer is that I'll be back teaching again in the fall. So I'm hoping to be back with all of you then. I also wanted to thank you for all your um, support and help with meals. Thank you for all the meals that were brought to our house, for all the people that made lunches for my kids and for all the people that brought my kids to and from school. It is so greatly appreciated and I just want to say what a wonderful community that, that we have at CHA. Also, I just wanted to talk about my t-shirts, um, the Team Iberg shirts. Thank you again for your support with that. And just wanted to talk about what it means to me to have faith over fear. And that, um, as I've been really tested with that, was just with my battle with cancer and just learning to trust God more when things are scary or unknown. And I think a lot of us are doing that right now too. So I just pray that we can just have more faith and we can trust God more in our lives. Also the verse on the back of the shirt is Romans 12, 12. And it's, it says, rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. So I just pray that that verse gives you hope today too, that if you're going through something hard too, that you can be constant in prayer and that God will answer your prayers in his timing. So just wanted to say that um, I hope you all are doing well. I hope and pray you have a, a wonderful summer and I just look forward to when we all can be together again. Thank you, goodbye. Hello CHA families. I just wanna say that I am sad that I didn't get a chance to get to know very many of you, but I hope you have a fabulous summer and I look forward to meeting a lot of you and getting to know your families in the fall. Take care. 
Hi CHA, you did it. You made it through this crazy school year. I'm so proud of each of you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful summer, have lots of fun, um, and just enjoy the warmth and sun. Love you all. Hey CHA, I miss experimenting and making lots of big messes in my classroom with you. It's hard not to be able to send you off with a goodbye hug this year. I wanna let you know how proud I am of all of your hard work. Keep your light shining for God with love and forgiveness towards others. Sending you lots of love, keep exploring, and have a great summer. You did it, CHA. You worked hard and now school's out for summer. I pray that you have a relaxing and refreshing summer. And just remember, math is the only subject that counts. Have a great summer. Hello, CHA. Um, I just want to say that we miss you and that we are all so proud of you and all the work that you've done um, when you did e-learning at home and the dedication. And um, just want to wish you all a great summer. Enjoy your time. Learn, Keep learning about Jesus. And special shout out to our eighth graders, Gavin, Alani, Caleb, and Zeke, as they are moving on to high school. And we just pray blessings over them. And I just pray blessings over all of you for your time this summer. Enjoy the sunshine, the freedom to run around, and enjoy, enjoy your families. So miss you, and we'll see you in the fall. Bye-bye. School is over. The summer is here, and you have the opportunity to relax and enjoy the summer. No more classes, no more books. And I know for some of us, that's probably a pretty sad thing, actually, the way that it, everything ended here. But please know there's a verse that guides me that I love and I hope it brings you peace. It says, the joy of the Lord is our strength. So if this time of year, as we're saying goodbye virtually, is difficult for you, um, I would encourage you to lean into Jesus. The joy of the Lord is our strength. He is the one who will give you strength to get through uh, the rest of this summer before we meet again in the fall. Have a good summer break, everybody. Hello, CHA students. Congratulations and three cheers to you. You made it through a great year of gym classes. Thank you for that. I want to wish you a happy summer um, filled with lots of uh, memories and fun times. Enjoy your family, stay active, and uh, we will see you in the fall. Hi, CHA. Uh, we just wanted to say we missed you at the end of this year and we're gonna miss you over the summer and we hope that you have a great and awesome and super fun summer. Yep. Um, I will really miss you guys next year, but I know that I am giving you into good hands right here. This guy's gonna take good care of you and I'm gonna come back and see all of your awesome plays and musicals. Absolutely, we're gonna have a good time next year. You guys wanna hear what the Christmas play is? Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hey CHA family, I miss you all. I miss getting to greet you in the mornings and see you throughout the day. And I just hope and pray you have a really awesome summer. I wanted to leave you with some encouragement from Colossians. Colossians 2 verse 6 says, Therefore, as you received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. I hope that encourages you and have an awesome summer. Bye. Have a great summer! Oh!